Zebre travelled to Wales without the services of nine players away on international duty, but with the home side equally shorn of international stars, the visitors would have been hopeful, having already beaten Cardiff and drawn with Scarlets this season. With Munster due to play later in the evening, Ospreys went into the game knowing that a win would temporarily at least put them top of the table. But without some of their star internationals, the home side knew that the win wouldn't come easily. They made a solid start with two Matthew Morgan penalties, easing the Welsh men into a 6-0 lead inside 10 minutes. It would prove to be a profitable afternoon for the Ospreys out half. But as if to emphasise that this wouldn't be a walkover, Zebre came up with the first try of the match. Dries van Schalkwijk with the interception to set things up. And after a slightly fortunate break, flanker Filippo Cristiano managed to get the ball down in the corner for a try that quietened the home crowd. Paolo Busso converted, and that put the Italians 7-6 ahead on 13 minutes. Morgan and Busso exchanged penalties after that to leave Zebre 10-9 ahead, approaching the half-hour mark. And with Gonzalo Garcia on kicking duty for this one, Zebre went 13 points to 9 in front. But Ospreys managed to edge themselves back in front just before half-time with two more Morgan penalties making it five out of five for him, and giving the home side a 15-13 advantage at the break. And Steve Tandy's side made a lightning start to the second half. They had the Italians immediately on the back foot, and as the pressure mounted, scrum half Tito Tibaldi came up with a brilliant cross-field pass to find Canadian international Tyler Ardron, who drove his way over the line for his side's first try of the game. It was Ardron's first ever Pro 12 try, and it gave the home side a little breathing space despite a missed conversion from Morgan, Osprey's 20-13 ahead. And the gap between the sides was very soon extended as Osprey's attacked with menace, the Zebra defence was stretched, and the experienced Duncan Jones found the gap. At this stage, the home side were rampant, and when Morgan converted, it left Ospreys 27-13 in front. But Zebre weren't finished by any means. They responded well to the setback of conceding those two tries, and on 68 minutes, having gone through several phases, Big Fijian Sam Vunisa barged over the line for the try, despite some desperate defence from the Ospreys' rearguard. When Garcia converted, it brought the Italians back to within a converted try of Ospreys. However, despite their best efforts, Zebre were unable to create that try-scoring opportunity, and in fact it was Ospreys who came closest to adding another score. Clever crossfield kick from Morgan, but winger Jeff Hassler was just too far wide to get the touchdown. No try. Bunista saw yellow after that for an earlier infringement. And Zebre were down to 14. And it was Morgan who had the final say with a late penalty to give Ospreys a hard-earned 30 points to 20 victory. That scoreline put them top of the table for a few hours before Munster's win later that night. But Ospreys still right there in the hunt and Zebre once again demonstrating that they're not to be underestimated. Final score at the Liberty Stadium, Ospreys 30, Zebre 20.